Hello YouTube family, welcome back to my channel. It has been way too long since I've last seen you, so I'm happy to be back. And if you are new to my channel, welcome to the Satina Country Cottage. My name is Rosalie and I'm so happy to have you visit me. So today I am going to be doing a Christmas home decor tag, my friend, Holly at Living a Country, my country sister, tagged me and her and Carrie at Carrie's Corner created this fun Christmas home decor tag. So let's get into the questions. There's 15 of them, so I don't wanna make this video too long. So let's get started. Question number one, when do you start decorating for Christmas? Now I start decorating for Christmas by November 1st because of social media and working with companies as a brand rep. Um, I start decorating usually November 1st. In previous years before social media, I started Thanksgiving weekend and kept it up till New Year's. Question number two, what style do you decorate your home for the holidays? If any of you have been with me for any length of time, I decorate my home in the country primitive slash colonial style. During the spring, I have sprinkles and touches of farmhouse. So the majority of time, I have a country primitive and colonial look to my home decor style. Number three, favorite family Christmas traditions. Since we have three little ones, ages seven, four, and three, we love taking them to go see any kind of Christmas light extravaganza party. We have already gone to about three of them so far this season, and they have a blast. They get to see Santa at most stops and have hot cocoa, or we pick up some junk food and candy and just let them have a blast and sometimes we just drive through or other times we it's like more of a neighborhood type scene and we could walk through everything and they have a blast they feel like they're in a parade because there's so many other families and people there so that is a fun um christmas tradition that we do every year with our kids Question number four, favorite place to buy Christmas decor? My favorite place to buy any decor is an antique store. I love finding treasures there and items that are one of a kind, not that everyone has, um, you know, at Michael's or Home Goods or Hobby Lobby, but I do go to Hobby Lobby a lot for all of my filler and florals. So if you could see behind me on my mantle, all the greenery picks, the two small Christmas trees on either side of my hearth, those were all picked up at Hobby Lobby. And if you haven't seen my home tour, I'll link it below. But all of the greenery and wreaths and picks, they were all purchased at Hobby Lobby. So antique stores and Hobby Lobby are my favorite. Question number five, favorite Christmas movie? It's been my favorite for years now. It's a Wonderful Life with Jimmy Stewart. It's just a timeless classic. I also enjoy watching Miracle on 34th Street with Natalie Wood. Love that movie. Any old black and whites um, movies I absolutely love. White Christmas also with Bean Crosby. Um, I love those, but this year I discovered The Grinch with Jim Carrey for the first time on Netflix and I love it. I think he's hilarious in the movie. I love the humor and my little ones absolutely love it. So I don't know. We've watched it over and over again um, this holiday season. And question number six, eggnog, hot cocoa, or apple cider? It's a toss up between hot cocoa and apple cider. I enjoy both of them equally. I have not had eggnog since I was a child. I can't even tell you, I can't even remember what it tastes like. So maybe I should try some and see if I still enjoy it. But I would say hot cocoa or apple cider. But if you're talking about like a hot beverage, coffee all the way. I'll have coffee any day over over anything. So there's my answer for that. Question number seven, do you leave chocolate chip cookies or sugar cookies for Santa? 
Uh, I leave chocolate chip cookies because that's what Santa told me he likes in our home as a snack. So I will make my homemade chocolate chip cookies that I love making from a favorite Amish cookbook that I've had for years. So chocolate chip cookies for sure. Question number eight. Artificial tree or real tree? You know, growing up, we always had a real tree in our home and it was always fun going to the Christmas tree lot and picking out our tree for that Christmas season. But now that I have my own home and three small children, I like to decorate with an artificial tree just because I have it up for so long in my home. Usually it goes up, you know, early November. So, but I love real trees. I mean, you just can't beat a real tree. But haven't you guys noticed that like they're so expensive now? I don't know how much they were when I was a little girl, but we usually have, well, like our artificial tree is seven or eight feet, I think. So it's pretty large. And when we go to Lowe's or Home Depot, we are there a lot. Uh, they're very expensive, at least in my opinion, for a real tree, they're really pricey. I am hoping to score on a new artificial tree that I spotted at Lowell's a few weeks ago, and even that was over $250. I know, I think that's ridiculous for an artificial tree, for any tree really, but uh, yeah, so we decorate with an artificial tree. Question number nine, a favorite holiday dessert to make? I would say cookies just because, you know, the kids could get in there with me and help me, you know, mix all the ingredients and help me put everything in the oven and it's just so easy. So I'll say holiday cookies. Our favorite to make in my home is my chocolate chip cookies. Those are just so good. I mean, they taste to me like better than like a Mrs. Fields cookie. Let me know or give me a thumbs up if you want me to post probably on my Instagram um, the recipe for my Amish chocolate chip cookies. They're so good. So question number 10, favorite type of Christmas cookie? My chocolate chip cookies for sure. Those are like a real big hit in my home. So <laughs> those will win all the time. Question number 11, do you and your family open any gifts on Christmas Eve? My husband and I don't open any gifts really unless we're like participating that year in like a white elephant type of Christmas, you know, game or something like that, then we'll open up a gift. But uh, we allow our children to open up a couple of gifts, especially if like relatives or neighbors drop by and they're so kind and thoughtful to bring all of our children a little something. Of course, we'll let them open up their Christmas gifts in front of the gift giver. So just so everybody could be happy and enjoy that time. So our children, yes, we let them open a couple and then they, you know, go nuts Christmas morning. Question number 12, do you decorate your tree yourself? No, I don't. Me and my husband, my husband will usually put it up for me and then uh, he'll put up the tree topper, I'll put up the garland and any picks usually and then we'll let my, you know, our children decorate pretty much everything else or as high as they could reach and then when they're not looking, if they're taking a nap or something, then I'll go in and I'll rearrange everything. And then it gets rearranged like a hundred more times before Christmas or before we take it down by my children. So that's fun. <laughs> What's a mom to do, right? Um, question number 13, where do you spend Christmas Day? We spend Christmas Day now at home. We love staying home. We're usually in our jammies, you know, half the day. Everyone's playing with their new gifts and, you know, family is coming by, stopping by, or neighbors. And we just enjoy staying home now. We don't really like taking the children out on the road. 
you know, long distances. We just like keeping them at home. Uh, question number 14, favorite Christmas smell? I have a couple actually. I love it when you walk into a home or when you're at home and it just smells like something delicious is baking in the oven. You don't know what it is, but it just smells so good and everybody's crowding in the kitchen. What's mom making? What's Nana making? You know, so that I just love that you know, down home goodness that you could only get at home. And also I love the smell of, I don't know if you all have tried, I know it's on Pinterest a lot, just get, you know, a pot of water and you throw cinnamon sticks, orange slices, cranberries. Sometimes uh, if you like it, you could throw in like some sprigs of rosemary or um, like some of the Christmas tree, um, just cut it up, a fresh Christmas tree of course, and you let that come to a boil and it just smells so good. Oh, and don't forget to add cinnamon and nutmeg and it just smells delicious in your home and it just fills up the whole house and it smells so warm and cozy and like, just like the holidays. So I love that smell. I also, if you all follow me on Instagram, you would have probably seen this post that I did, but I'm not a huge fan because I have asthma um, and my son has allergies. I am not a huge like candle person. I used to be when I was, you know, back in my 20s ages ago, but I'm not really big into like artificial scents. So I love doTERRA essential oils and I collect pine cones and I've been collecting for a couple years now, but on all of my pine cones that I have sprinkled and decor throughout my home, I'll get the Siberian fir essential oil and I'll just sprinkle some on all the pine cones and it'll smell like a Christmas tree in here. And I love it because it dissipates you know, within like a couple of hours, you really can't smell it anymore. So if you have company coming over for a short period of time or something, it's always nice to kind of just freshen up the space and just sprinkle some essential oils. And then you don't have to worry about like your whole entire house just, you know, smelling very pungent and potent for a long time. So I really enjoy using essential oils for that. And number 15, tag some friends. So I'm gonna tag Hannah at Hannah's Happy Home. If you haven't seen or visited her channel, I will link it down below. She has an awesome cleaning channel. If you all need some motivation cleaning, you definitely need to check her out. I don't know how many times I've been washing dishes at the sink and I have my phone propped up just watching her channels trying to get motivated to like do laundry and dust and vacuum and all that jazz. So she has an awesome channel. I'd love to hear her answers. And then also I'm going to tag my friend Lynette at Lynette Yoder channel. She's awesome. She has an awesome channel. She also does cleaning and cooking and organizing home decor. They're currently, you know, packing up, getting ready to move her little family to Florida, but um, she has an amazing channel. So I will go ahead and link her channel down below. And Lynette, I'd love to hear your answers for this fun Christmas home decor tag that was again created by Carrie at Carrie's Corner and my country sister, Holly at Living It Country. So thank you so much ladies for creating this tag. It was a lot of fun answering these Christmas questions and getting to know everybody else that did the tag a little bit better. So I hope everyone's having a blessed holiday season and I hope to see you real soon. From my family to yours, Merry Christmas and God bless. Bye-bye.